Hey everyone, it's TV Shores. It's May the 24th, 2020 at 6.46 p.m. Uh, right now, uh, just so you know where I'm at, uh, of course I've been in the Word. I've been looking at some things the Lord has shown me. I don't yet know what He wants me to speak about next. Um, if anything, I mean, I don't know how long we have. I don't, I'm just following His lead. When He tells me to, I'll I'll do what, whatever he asks. But right now, um, something he always has me do is listen to my last video. And it helps me better understand of information that he's given me, where he would have me to go next, what, what dots to connect or what to re-emphasize. So one thing that I'm feeling led to re-emphasize right now is on the last video I did. I want you to listen to this little part that starts at the 21 minute, excuse me, the 12 minute uh, marker. And just listen to this for just a minute. But, but I, I hope I've explained this where you can understand, understand that, that this, this is, is about, about something ending on May 22nd. And we are in a waiting period, which means that when that end feeling comes that we are waiting on, then it will begin the process of bringing the kingdom age. Okay. The thing that I feel that I'm supposed to re-emphasize here is these dates. As I spoke about the 22nd, um, one thing that I feel the Lord wants me to say right now is when we look at the dates of the calendars, they are not wrote in stone, okay? Um, they are mainly to show us time frames and past events to help us gain understanding of what it is the Lord is trying to show us. Am I hopeful that Shavuot brings the infilling? Um, the 29th. I know that the Shavuot Pentecost is the event that we're waiting on for the infilling of the disciples today. But what the Lord wants me to emphasize is not to get hung up on these dates because he works in patterns and there's a process things have to go through and he is showing us the pattern. Now it would be wonderful it happened on these dates of this calendar, but we have to remember there are many calendars out there. And to just choose one that God is working from, that we know God is working from, um, it'd just be really hard to narrow that down unless, unless, unless God came to us and said, Thus saith the Lord, this is it. Now, where he spoke to me over by a period of May 22nd. We know over, I'm very clear on that. It's about something ending, something finishing. And I do believe that it is the church age. Now, did it happen on the 22nd? Um, I don't know with absolute clarity, but I know that it is coming and we have to wait for things to manifest. Uh, Things happen in the spiritual, and then it takes time for them to manifest here where we are in the physical. So it's a it's a matter of waiting on the Lord, okay? Uh, certainly, we are about to see um, the end of the church age, and we are about to see the beginning of the kingdom age as will come with the infilling of the disciples today because it's all about bringing the kingdom of light. Uh, the Lord is showing me some things connected with kingdom, kingdom of light, kingdom of darkness. You know, as I've discussed before, they are born at the same time. They are birthed at the same time. They come at the same time. That, um, of course, brings about a battle, but we know who the victory is, okay? But the Lord is, is wanting me to reemphasize that we're not to get hung up on these dates. 
he is showing us, as he has shown me in the past when he's spoken things to me over these years, um, I would get partial understanding of things. And as time passed, I would gain more understanding. Just as now, I'm getting uh, a fuller understanding of things he's spoken to me in the past because he has had me uh, focus on second Passover before. We talked about that has a lot to do with these last 20 videos I did on uh, second Passover in the year 2015, uh, excuse me, 2015. So the Lord has had me to study second Passover before. So I think it is very significant that he's brought me back to this and he has given me um, more understanding of many things that connect to this that he has given me over time. Um, do I feel I have the fullness of the understanding of the things he's shown me? No, not really, because I have come to learn that what he gives me, when he gives it, there have been times I took it as a literal, and it wasn't a literal. It was something I needed to wait on. It was more of an under, a thing I was supposed to understand. See, these time frames are about us understanding patterns and the past events is about us learning what those things have to teach us uh, whether it be something that comes straight out of the bible or something from just human history it all plays a part in giving us understanding of the patterns and how god uses them uh, to bring about his will so we know that something is about to end, which is the church age. We know that the infilling of the disciples today will bring about a beginning, just as the infilling of the disciples then brought about the church age. The infilling of the disciples today will bring about the birthing of the kingdom age. Now, just what that will look like, I don't know exactly. Um, because he's showing me some things that have to do with the light and the darkness. And I don't think everyone understands what all that entails. And I, I am not sure that I do. Uh, it's like he's just starting to show me some of this stuff. And I, I don't even know how to begin to present it at this point. But we know that it's coming. We know we are very close to the Lord setting things in motion for the harvest so that his kingdom of light can be brought and so the darkness can be removed from this earth um we just have to trust him and not try to rush these dates and get discouraged if we don't see what we thought we should have seen on certain dates because it's about waiting on the Lord. We have to wait on him. And he's teaching us and he's showing us his patterns and, and the process by, by which things have to go. And for him to have brought me back to this, after I've already been in second Passover five years ago, for him to have brought me back to this certainly holds significance. And it's teaching us something further. And he's connecting other things that he's given me in the past and how they all connect with this. So as far as time frame goes, um, I don't I don't think we can pinpoint anything exactly on the calendar. Um, I think that when that time comes, if he's going to show us something exactly on the calendar as to this is when things will be set in motion. I think it will be very clear. It won't be a, I'm not, I'm not absolutely certain. It will be very clear if he points that time out to us. So one thing I am very clear on is that we are close. He's showing us things in more clarity and more fullness than he has in the past on, on a lot of these things. Uh, I'm going to continue to seek him. I hope you understand that right now we are in a waiting period. Um, will that waiting period for the infilling end when Shavuot arrives, um, Pentecost, uh, that'd be wonderful. And I am hopeful for that. But um, I'm not saying that that is the absolute. 
because I know from times past. He's shown me something I thought was a literal, and it turned out not to be a literal. Um, don't by any means get discouraged, because I think we are about to see many things come to pass that we've been waiting on. And it's not a time to get discouraged. It's not a time to be weak in the spirit. Just keep seeking him. That's one thing that he emphasizes to me repeatedly. Keep seeking him because he will give us our strength. He will help us gain our clarity. Um, he will guide us in what we need to be doing. If we're not seeking him, it, it is harder for us to hear his voice. So we need to be seeking him at all times. Um, I, I mean this video to be an encouragement because I know some get discouraged when dates come and go. It is not a time to be discouraged because we are so much closer than we have been. And he's showing the fullness of more fullness of things than what we have known before. Because over the course of these 20 videos, he showed me things that um, I didn't connect before. Okay. And it has excited me because things that he showed me in years past for him to sh start showing me the fullness of what they mean and how they connect is a big encouragement for me and I hope it's a big encouragement for you. So this is about, I guess you could say, um, making sure that we continue to seek and making sure that we don't get discouraged if dates that I pointed to on the calendar here, um, we don't see manifestation of anything because it is not these calendars that God works on, okay? Um, through these things, we learn his patterns and the process that things must take. Um, and he's just bringing our understanding to be more clear. Uh, and I, I think as we come through this and we grow spiritually, so that's that's the thing. Through all of it, we're supposed to be growing spiritually, just as we talked about the counting of the Omer. Uh, it's about, the Omer is a measure, and it's about gaining a measure spiritually each day, okay? Then we looked at the two weeks and how that was all about spiritual growth and how that the disciples, uh, after Christ resurrected, he breathed on them. On the day that he resurrected, in the evening, he went before them and he breathed on them. And that was about a spiritual growth that was, and I, that's kind of a weak way to express that, but that was about a, I don't know another word to use at the moment, but a spiritual growth that they were going through. It was about bringing them to a fuller uh, spiritual state so that they would be prepared uh, whenever he, after he ascended and Pentecost came and they got their infilling of the Holy Ghost. So all of it is about bringing them along and making them prepared for what was about to come upon them when Pentecost arrived. And it's just like, that's what we're going through, okay? So it's in, these waiting periods are important because it's about growing us so that we are ready for this when it comes. And I hope this blesses you and just wait on the Lord. Uh, hopefully we will see some things start to manifest that um, lets us know that he is fixing to set the harvest into motion. I'm going to cut this off here. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Um, I hope this is clear to you.